The Joan Davis Show, and featuring Jim Backus as Judge Bradley Stevens. Beaten egg whites. Thirteen. That's an unlucky number. Better make it twelve. <laughs> Come in. Oh, Susan. Hello, Mrs. Stevens. You home from school so soon? Uh huh. Well, oh. what are you making? Oh, something a little girl I know likes very much. Angel food cake. Oh, you going shopping for your mother? No, it's a present from my daddy. Guess what it is. Oh, Susan, I have no idea. Come on, tell me. All right. Oh, Susan! It's darling! Isn't he beautiful? Why, it sure is. What is it? It's a chihuahua. A what, what, what? A chihuahua. It's a dog. He's the sweetest thing. He sure is what there is of him. <laughs> What's his name? I call him Tiger. Well, that ought to build up his ego. Daddy says he got him for me for protection. Well, he sure looks like he needs it. <laughs> He's awful cute, though. Gee, I wish I had a dog like Tiger. Well, why don't you get one? They have three more at the pet shop. Well, Brad, <laughs> that is the judge won't have it. He likes dogs, all right, but he just doesn't want one in the house. <laughs> He says I've got enough to do without taking care of a dog. I've got enough trouble just taking care of him. <laughs> oh, you want a cookie, dear? Okay, thank you. My mommy takes care of Tiger and me, and my daddy doesn't mind. Well, I'd give anything to have a dog like Tiger. Where is he? Tiger. 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 You're Tiger. 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 Come on, Tiger. Tiger. Where are you, Tiger? Tiger. Tiger. Susan. You don't think... Mrs. Stevens, let's get him out quick! <laughs> oh, I got him, honey. There, just take him. No, don't you have him. Is he still alive? Here, Ty, here, Ty. <laughs> oh, there he is. My little darling. I am mad at you. I am just disgusted. You naughty little dog. Why didn't you come when I called you? Well, how could he? Maybe he doesn't understand English. <laughs> Say... I know how to get the judge to let me get one of these Mexican chihuahuas. How? Well, he's always after me to improve my mind. I'll tell him this is a good chance for me to learn to speak Spanish. Brad, dear. Yes? Uh, do you ever think when you're busy at the office all day of me at home and how I might be lonely? Well, uh, why don't you join another club or start another bridge game? Well, sometimes a person gets tired of human company. I've seen those ladies in your club, and I think you're abusing the definition. Oh. <laughs> no, Brad. I I'm talking about the warmth and companionship that a person needs during the day. The unspoken devotion that passeth all understanding. <laughs> you know, Joni, we've been married a long time, and those words coming from anyone else would be about a dog. But with you, it could be about anything. Is your mother coming to visit us? No, dear. I am talking about a dog. Uh, <laughs> well, you uh, had me fooled. Then, accepting your words at their face value, you want a dog, and you want to keep him here in the house. In a word, yes. <laughs> in another word, no. Oh, but Brad, you should see him. He's the cutest little chihuahua. Uh, dear, I don't want to be arbitrary, but I don't want a dog around the house. And if I wanted a dog, I wouldn't think of getting one with, uh, without your consent. Yes, I know. So, uh, let's hear no more about it. <laughs> right there. But, Brad, I, I went down to the pet shop this afternoon, and I gave them an order for a chihuahua. Oh, you should see him. He can sit up. And he's got a little... No, 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 Joan, Joan, Joan. I, I don't want to go down to You go down to the pet shop the first thing in the morning, cancel the order for the dog. Oh, but, Brad, if you... No, can... no, dear. Give me your word that you'll, you'll cancel the order. So. All right, Brad. But let me tell you one thing. If I'm going to lead a dog's life, I might as well have a dog to share it. Tally, <laughs> 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 want to 
want a cracker? Who cares? Kiss me, Blondie. Ah! <laughs> Pretty fresh bird. May I help you, madam? Yes, I'm Mrs. Stevens. I was in here yesterday. Oh, it's so hard to remember everybody. There's so many people coming through here. So many dogs, so many goldfish. I, I placed an order for a chihuahua. A chihuahua, huh? Let me see now. You say the name is Stevens? Chihuahua. Oh, here it is. Yes, yes, right there. Cancel it. I beg your pardon? Cancel it. My husband doesn't want me to buy the dog. Oh, but madam, you're going to miss a wonderful companion. Yes, but if I buy the dog, I'm going to miss my husband. He makes a wonderful companion, you know. Well, uh, how about a nice goldfish? They're wonderful pets. They're very quiet, huh? nice and clean. No, I don't think so. And no goldfish. Well, how about a nice little baby turtle? Now, right here. They're no trouble at all. Isn't that cute? He'll live to be 200 years old. Well, if he only lives to be 100, can I bring him back and get my money? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. No turtles, no goldfish. I want a dog, but my husband doesn't, so I guess it's nothing at all. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, he's a large one, isn't he? Boy, he'd make a wonderful pet for some crowd. <laughs> what, what's the matter with him? Well, you never should have petted him. Now he's grown to love you. Just from one little pet? Oh, yes, yes. St. Bernard's a very affectionate animal. He loves me? Oh, crazy about you. Yes, you're very lucky, madam. Hector doesn't take to just anyone, you know. But, you know, I think he's got you picked for something special. He has? Yes. Now, I can give you a very good buy on this dog today. I just happen to be overstocked on St. Bernard's. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. I promised my husband. <laughs> Look, I, I only promised my husband that I'd cancel the order on the Chihuahua. Well, that's fine. I'll tell you what I'll do. I can give you this dog for the same price as the little dog. You will? Well, that's like buying a whole cow for the price of a hamburger. <laughs> it's a deal. Adam. Sorry, no, Percy. That's a good boy. Jump. Jump for it. Oh, there's your button. May I help you? Uh, no, I just want to check on something. Did Mrs. Bradley J. Stevens cancel an order for a chihuahua? Why, yes, I believe she did. Yes, yes. Here it is. There, canceled. Oh, well, thank you very much. That'll be all. Darn, that's the first time I've ever seen that. What? Well, Tony here, he don't take to nobody. But it's easy to see that he's just crazy about you. He is? Well, <laughs> that's the darndest thing I ever saw. Well, I always did have a, have a way with animals. There you are. You know, e even as a kid, the dogs used to follow me around. Uh, well, I can understand that. I mean, <laughs> you can't fool a dog's instincts. They don't just take to anyone, you know. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very true. Yes, <laughs> and it's quite obvious that Tony here is sure crazy about you. Uh, he is, isn't he? Yeah. You know something, my wife wanted a dog, but uh, I said no, and I think I was being selfish. Yes. I'm going to take that dog. Uh, how much do you want for him? Sixty dollars. But I'll take forty. Including a five-minute supply of dog food. <laughs> wouldn't eat that much in a year. Oh, you better not put him down. He might still be hungry. Does he always eat like this? Only at mealtimes. Huh? I don't know what Brad's going to say when he gets the food bill. Uh-oh. There's the judge now. I, I better hide, Hector. I better go. Uh, come here, Hector. Come here, Hector. Come on. Get in here. Come on, Hector. Get, get, get in. Let's hide, Hector. That's a boy. That's a... Well, thanks for trying, old boy, but I don't think you'll fit in there. Come on, Hector. Let's go right here. 
it, Hector. Come on, come on, Hector, in there. That's a good boy. Is that you, Brad? Oh, hello, dear. Oh, darling. <laughs> I'll hang your hat up in the closet. No, 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 dear, never mind. I, I have to... Uh go out later. I'll leave it right there. <laughs> oh, all right, dear. I better get dinner. Yes. Oh, oh did you hear the television? Oh, I, I'm teasing. I don't have to. Funny. <laughs> yes. Uh, dear, uh, why don't you wash your hands for dinner? No, dear, I, I just, just washed them. You didn't go up as high as the back of your ears. I can see that, Brad. <laughs> Why don't you stay put? Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Let's get in the kitchen. Come! That's a boy, Hector. Here. That's a good boy. Now, take good care of Hector, Herman. Herman, meet Hector. <laughs> Dear, there's uh, no towel. Oh, well, I'll get you one in the linen closet. Tony! 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 You want Joni to find out? Oh, you come on, Joni. Back here. Here's your towel, dear. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll uh, get a newspaper. Yeah, I better hang up your hat, dear. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, I thought Hector had a split personality. <laughs> okay, fellas, come and get it. <laughs> Look, dear, this is ridiculous. We can't afford to feed anim animals like this. Do you realize how, how much a dinner like that costs? I know exactly. Twelve dollars and forty-two cents. Well, we don't even spend that money on ourselves. Well, we're not St. Bernard. I still maintain we're overfeeding these dogs. Oh, yeah? You look for yourself. Look, dear, I, I, I've been thinking it over. One dog is, is one too many. One of these dogs has to go. I guess you're right, Brad. It is a little crowded. Okay, then we'll take your dog back to the pet shop the first thing in the morning. My dog? Now, wait a minute, Brad. Why do we have to get rid of my dog? Why don't we get rid of your dog? Well, my dog is smarter, and he's such a, such a happy dog. You, you can tell that just, just by looking at him. <laughs> Well, he must be laughing on the inside, because he's crying on the outside. <laughs> oh, Brad, why don't we keep them both? No, dear, no, we, we, we just can't afford it. That's all there is to it. Well, maybe you could make some overtime. Take a job in night court. Huh? No, look, John, your dog has got to go. <laughs> I don't care what you say, Brad. Hector is a much prettier dog. Just look at those soulful eyes. <laughs> no, 
that dog has on false eyelashes. How come you didn't notice it when I was wearing those? Now look here, <laughs> trickery will get you nowhere. If your Hector isn't as smart as my Tony, out he goes, out, out. Okay, we'll settle it right now. We'll test them both. Okay, <laughs> you, you asked for it, I'll, I'll prove it to you. Prove it to you just once and for all. That's right now, Tony, here we go. Dead dog, dead dog, dead dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was very good, Brad. He ought to have you well trained in about two weeks. Oh. <laughs> now, you want to see a smart dog? Yes. My Hector. All right. Hector, talking dog, talks. Listen to this. Hector, what is it that you see on top of a house? A roof. <laughs> Did you hear that, Ruth? <laughs> Hector, uh, when Brad hits a golf ball, it never goes down the fairway. Where does it always go? Uh, rough. <laughs> rough. <laughs> that was very good, Hector. You deserve a treat. Go out in the kitchen and get a cookie. Go on. <laughs> Okay, Tony. You might as well go out there and keep Hector company. Okay, fella, come and get... Where's the other dog? Where's Hector or Tony? Uh, uh, when you're together, I can tell you apart, but when you're apart, I can't tell you together. Here, boy. Here, boy. Calling car 17. Calling car 17. Go to 3368 to get a robbery. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm Mrs. Bradley J. Stevens, wife of Judge Stevens. Oh, yes, Mrs. Stevens. Uh, what can we do to help you? Well, I want to report a missing dog. Well, we don't usually handle dogs here, but seeing you're Mrs. Stevens, the judge's wife, will do the best we can. I'll just use the missing person's form here. Now, uh, what is your address, Mrs. Stevens? At 345 Laurel Drive. 345 uh, Laurel Drive. Now, what kind of a dog is it? It was a St. Bernard. It answers to either the name of Tony or Hector. Uh, aren't you sure, Mrs. Stevens? Well, no, you see, we have two dogs, and they look just alike, and I don't know which one of them is missing. Uh, well, I'll put down Tony Hector. Now, uh, when did you first miss the dog? When I realized he was gone. Uh, it was just a little while ago. Mac, the captain wants to see you inside. I'll take over here. The captain, huh? I wonder what he wants. Excuse me, Mrs. Stevens. Name, Tony Hector, missing today. We'll need a description. Height? Uh, he's about three feet tall. Three feet. A little fellow, isn't he? No, he weighs 175 pounds. Three feet tall and weighs 175 pounds? Kind of roly-poly, isn't he? Well, he carries it very well. Color of eyes? Brown. Hair? Brown. And white. And what was this handsome little fellow wearing? He was wearing a collar. No tie? Of course not. That would be silly, wouldn't it? Not after what I just heard. I hope you'll do everything you can to find him. He's a valuable dog, and we're both very fond of him. Now, don't worry, ma'am. We'll do everything we can to find... Dog? Do you mean to say this is a dog you've been telling me about? Well, of course. What did you think? I thought I was nuts. <laughs> Look, lady, we're very busy down here. Why don't you go to the pound? You might find your dog over there. But, officer... I'm sorry, lady. Calling car 14. Calling car 14. Go to the corner of Main and Flower. Accident. Go to the corner of Main and Flower. Accident.
Calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for a brown and white St. Bernard, license 41062. Hey, lady! The chance is either the name of Tony or Hector. Hey, you can't do that. Give me that microphone, lady. Oh, cars, calling all cars. Hey, what do you want me to do? Lose my job or something? Listen, this is very important. I gotta find a missing dog. Calling all cars. Now, now, wait, wait. Look, lady. This is the police station. We're too busy looking for missing people. We haven't got time to go around looking for dogs. Oh, no, well, this dog happens to be a St. Bernard, the kind that spends its whole life looking for people. The least people can do is spend a little time looking for him. Yeah. yeah. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Be on the lookout for a St. Bernard dog. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. <laughs> Don't you think you better call the pound again? Well, dear, I called them five minutes ago. I don't want to make a pest of myself. They're, they're doing everything they can. They've alerted all the dog catchers. I'm sorry, Brad. It's just that I, I'm just sick with worry. Well, so am I, dear. And so is he. You can tell just by looking at him how much he misses the other dog. You know something, dear? I've gotten to love those dogs. I want to keep them both. I certainly do. Oh, Brad, I was hoping to hear you say that. Oh, no, if we could only find the other dog. Honey, let's look out in the backyard again. And then he might have come back. Oh, that's a good idea. He might be behind one of the hedges. Yes, I'll get the flashlight. Where is it? Uh, it uh, last time I had it was down in the basement when I went down to look at the heater. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, I'll get it. Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, this is Judge Stevens. What's that? Two wagon fools and not a St. Bernard in the pack. Yes, well, I appreciate it very much. Keep trying, won't you? Yes, well, 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 thank you. Goodbye. Brad, guess who was down in the basement all the time? Tony or, or Hector. <laughs> and, and that's not all, Brad. Puppies. <laughs> and I got news for you, Brad. That's Hector. So from now on, please refer to Tony as Antoinette. <laughs> Now, the way I see it, Joan, with both dogs and the puppies, the cost of the food will be about $300 a month. Yeah, uh, until the puppies grow up. Well, we'll just have to give them away before we get attached to them. Oh, I know, Brad, but look at them. Aren't they just adorable? Joan, you'll just have to learn to hate them. Oh, they're awful cute little devils. Oh, oh let's face it, Brad, we're hooked. We're never going to be able to bring ourselves to get rid of any of these dogs. Oh, I guess you're right, Joan. I wonder who that can be. Jerry Hausner, Sharon Baird, Bill Kennedy, Phil Arnold, and Joe Devlin. 